If you're using an iPhone every day, chances are you're only scratching the surface of what it can do. Today I'm sharing five lesser known features that most users never take advantage of. But once you do, they'll change how you use your phone. These are all easy and simple and shockingly underused. At the end of the video, I'll show you a bonus tip that you may not have seen, but I think you'll really like. Tip number one, you can create instant photo collages just by using an app that's already on your phone. Just open the Shortcuts app, click the plus sign, search Select Photos, select that, choose Select Multiple, now search for Combine Images, change horizontally to In a Grid, now search for Save to Photos. We're going to save them to Recents, and now let's test it. We'll go to our images of our dog Sherlock. And we'll choose all of these, click Add. When we go to our recent photos, this is what we see. Tip number two, you're probably used to just tapping an app and opening it, but try pressing and holding the app instead. Depending on the app that you open, you'll have a number of options to choose from. Try the Files app and you'll see iCloud Drive, On My Phone, Search. How about Scan Documents? That's a handy one. Now let's look at a couple of the major retailers. Amazon, you can see today's deals and view orders, what's in your cart. And the Walmart app, my purchase history when I'm making a return is real handy to have available to me. The scanner for checking prices when you're in the store and Walmart Pay, of course. It saves you two to three taps every time. And if you do this often enough, it becomes second nature. Tip number three, how many times have you set a timer or set multiple timers on your watch or on your phone, and you realized, I don't know what that timer was for. Now you can name those timers, but you have to use Siri. She gives you the ability to name multiple timers. Let's test it by saying, hey Siri, set a washer timer for 45 minutes. Set a dryer timer for 35 minutes. Set a tea timer for three minutes. And now we see our three timers. And when the timer finishes, it will tell you which timer is running. That's a huge help when you're juggling things. Tip number four. In iOS 18, Apple rolled out AI-based writing tools. When you highlight a block of text, and tap writing tools, you'll see many powerful new options. This is huge for emails, for journaling, for note taking, and it's so helpful, especially just sending a text back to your coworker. I'm covered up with work and can't talk. TTYL. Now, before you send it to your coworker, select the text and select writing tools, and you will see all of the AI based writing tools there, including Friendly, which sounds good. Let's try that. If you don't like it, you can click rewrite. Or you can choose one of the many options below. Select professional if you're sending it back to your boss. And again, if you don't like it, you can click rewrite and then select done and hit send and you're ready to go. Tip number five. If you're getting a lot of spam calls like I do, it's really nice to have a one tap solution to be able to turn that option on and off so let's dig through this. Open the Shortcuts app, click plus, and type in unknown. You don't have to type many letters and you get it. Select done. We can go to our control center, tap in the gray area, click add a control, click on search, look for shortcuts. And there's our new shortcut that we just created. Click on it. Now click back in the gray area of the control center and it adds it right there to the control center. Sometimes we need to be able to turn that option off quickly when we find out that our doctor is trying to call us and we know it's not gonna be from a number that we have in our contacts. So let's go back to shortcuts, click on the ellipsis and we'll duplicate that one. Now we have another version. They added a one to it. So let's edit that first and Let's make this one turn it off and then let's rename it. Allow unknown callers. Get rid of the one. And now we have an 
shortcut so that we can turn silence unknown callers back off. Now we need to add that to our control center. Click in the gray area, click add a control, search for shortcuts again, choose new shortcut that we just added. And now click back in the gray area and we see both of these shortcuts are in our control center. Now the next time you need to turn that option on or off, you can just go to control center and it's a one click for you. And now for the bonus tip. There's one handy feature that's buried deep in your settings that allows you to just double tap your phone that'll do things like turn on your flashlight, take a screenshot, turn on magnifier, so many more. Let's run through that. Go to settings and search for back tap. Select double tap, but you have a choice, double or triple. You even have a choice of showing a banner. We'll choose double tap. And now you can browse the countless number of features. I think there, I counted uh, well over 50 features on my phone because I have so many shortcuts set up. We're going to select screenshot. So now when I double tap the back of the phone, I get a screenshot. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please like and subscribe. And watch this next video for some more great iPhone tips.